Hey guys, I'm making a red tail boa or just bow constrictor care video. So let's get right to it. This is my um, Colombian red tail boa female. Uh, this is right here. They're beautiful snakes. Yeah, so um, that's her. This She's in a 40 gallon right now. Which, um, is okay for her right now. She used to be in this. But, if you saw my other video, I now have a 6 foot male Argentine bow constrictor. So, he, he didn't know I came upon him fast. Yes, he actually just shed today. And I put it right there. It, his shed is like 7 feet. He's about 6 feet though. Um, anyways... Uh, yeah, these are great animals. I wouldn't recommend them for beginners because, um, just their size. They need, uh, more humidity and, uh, sometimes, like, both, like, she's bit me before. This one right here. And, um, he actually bit me too. It's funny because in the last video I said he was the nicest snake ever. He bit me. <laughs> Uh, it was by accident, though. I was feeding him. He smelled the rat, and he missed, and he got my head. Oh, my Michael drink in there. When I first got him, he drank for like two hours. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'd say mist them down probably every day to every other day. They need a humidity of about 60 to 70 percent. Um... Uh, usually temperature in here of like 80, like 82 on uh, just like overall temperature in a basking spot from like 90 to 95. Works good. Um, remember, you also got to keep in mind of the size. They're not a huge snake, but they do get rather large. Um, like, like I said, he's six feet. And if you don't know his story, he was locked in a closet for 15 years, but he's still six feet so um she'll probably get a little bit bigger than him she'll probably get seven eight feet some of them could get 10 i've seen videos where one was 14 but that's very unlikely that you that that happened but um i always give them fresh water at all times some people keep them on like newspaper i keep them on uh just the wood chip stuff it holds humidity pretty good and it's, you know, it's nicer to look at instead of just newspaper. And it's, it's, I found it relatively easy to clean. So, um, yeah. Uh, you could also use like a under, under tank heater, which I don't have in this one. I just have those two lights right there. Um, you don't need light for them, but I do it just because it's better. They're a diurnal species of snake and, uh. Yeah, they, I mean, like, snakes could use belly heat, but this warms up this log hide pretty good. And, uh, so, she's all, she's all good. Um, I'll go down to my Argentine bow constrictor now. He's cool. He's in this six-foot cage. As you can see, there's his basking spot. And then he just has, like, a fish light up there. <laughs> um, yeah, he has a big hide. A water bowl. He could probably get most of his body in there, but uh, you could soak them too. You could soak them probably like every other day if you want. Every day, maybe like if you really want to, or just once a week would do fine too. There he is. Yeah, he. So he just shed today, so he's looking really good. You see, I'm actually probably gonna feed him in like. 30 minutes when his rat thaws out because he didn't eat last time because he was uh I didn't I don't really uh know what he looked like when he was uh like blue you could say um I did kind of notice that his eyes were like a little clouded over but he was like that when I got him so it's good to know that he's shedding though and he'll he'll grow and because he's kind of an old man if the information is true he is over like 15 years old but he's he's a cool snake very beautiful too. Argentines are very beautiful. Um, Argentines are, I heard, slightly more aggressive. He's pretty like chill though, even though he bit me. 
but yeah, he's he's good. Um, Argentines are like a totally different. I want to say genus. I'm probably wrong, but like they're a BCO, and they're a uh, she is a BCI. I know that stands for boa constrictor imperator. I don't know what the O stands for in this one, but the true red tails are BCC, bow constrictor, constrictor, and those are the big ones, and they have like the bright red tails, not the brownish red, and they grow slower, but yeah, I mean, they're a great snake, I love working with them, they're very inquisitive, they love moving around, uh, yeah, they're just a great snake to work with, if you've, you know, if you've had like a corn snake or, or a ball python, and you're looking to move up, this is definitely a good option for you. Um, there are some species of boas that don't get that big, like sand boas, rosy boas, and then, uh, there's smaller species of boa constrictor, too, whereas, like, Colombians are more of the bigger that aren't a true red tail, so, um, I'm trying to think of a smaller species of boa constrictor, you know, honestly, I, it's just totally, like, escaped from my mind, but, hiding right there yeah so yeah they're cool uh just you know be careful about the humidity i've had shedding problems with her before she's had shedding problems she actually just shed a couple days ago too so she's all they're both all nice and pretty for you guys um but yeah make sure to give them humidity and so that way they'll be able to shed easier uh but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. They're just great snakes. I love working with them. You know, I will always keep a bow constrictor. They're so nice. And you, as you can see, they're just beautiful. And I also like just missed it down their cage recently. You can see the water droplets on her. Uh, but yeah, great snakes. Would recommend them for intermediate. You could probably get a sand boa as a beginner because I think they're relatively more easy to care for, and they don't get as big. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed it and found this uh, found this video like informal, I think is the word. Uh, yeah, like it, comment on this video. I love responding to you guys' comments. Um, subscribe if you already haven't, and go follow my uh, Instagram page. I'll leave the name down in the description. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully post more videos soon.